Welcome. In this video, we're going to derive the formula for the volume of a pyramid with a square base. So if you recall, the volume of a pyramid is given right here, where A is the area of the base of the triangle. In this case, we have a pyramid with a square base. So what is the area of a square? So the area of a square base, which is the A squared in this case, since as we can tell, this is A here on the base. So the volume of this solid is 1 third A squared H. And I'll write that equals its volume. So we're gonna derive this formula. So first we need to look at a cross-sectional slice. And so when you think cross-section, just think literally you're slicing this plane and it's perpendicular in this case to the x-axis. So this plane intersects the x-axis at a right angle. And what does a typical cross-section look like? Well, let's make a sketch. So this little square up here, let's sketch it here. And this is a square whose side is S. And we want to rewrite S in terms of what we have in our um, everywhere else, basically, in terms of X and H and A, since we can still have A's left over when we compute our volume. So for that, we need to look at this two-dimensional uh, viewing of it. And so imagine you're standing here, and you're looking out in this direction, and that's where this two-dimensional sketch comes from. So let's use similar triangles in order to figure this out. We know that S is to X, what A is to H, and solving, we end up with the side of this square, S, is equal to AX over H. That's fantastic. That means the area of this cross-section can be rewritten in terms of X, and that area, A of X, is equal to AX over H quantity squared. And again, that's because the area of a square, in this case, area of this square with side S is equal to S squared. Okay, so now let's use that to compute the volume of this solid, and the volume is just the integral of the area. And we need to figure out our limits of integration. So we're integrating here with respect to x, and x runs from zero all the way to this line here, which is x equals h, since you notice this distance here is h. So our integral is from zero to h, that gives us this integral from zero to h of ax over h quantity squared with respect to x. a and h are just constants, so we can rewrite this by pulling out the a squared and the h squared in front, and we have the integral of x squared dx, so this is a squared over h squared times x cubed over three, evaluated from zero to h. This simply yields a squared over h squared times h cubed over 3 minus 0 cubed over 3, which when simplifying we end up with a squared h cubed over 3h squared, or just a squared h over 3. And if you notice, this is the same thing as 1 third a squared h, which is what we had up here. So we just derived the volume of a pyramid with a square base using calculus. I hope this video was helpful.